Hello, my name is Mark Esmus and I am with Plumline Solutions. In this video, I will cover how to set up a pre-tax deduction in the Microsoft Dynamics SL payroll module. This includes creating the deduction, exempting the deduction from other deductions, and then testing the deduction to verify it works as expected. Let's get started. Here I am logged into Microsoft Dynamics SL. The first step is to open the deduction maintenance screen. For the purposes of this video, I will set up a 401k type deduction. I'll enter 401k as my deduction ID in a short description. In the deduction type field, the options are in the order in which Microsoft Dynamics SL calculates them. So if you intend on exempting this deduction from federal or state, you must pick a deduction type that gets calculated before federal or state. So I will select pension, which does sort of make sense for a 401k. My base type will be gross earnings and a fixed percentage to allow employees to withhold a fixed percentage from their gross earnings. I will populate the rest of the required fields and save. Notice at this point there is no pre-tax checkbox or anything along those lines. That is because the Microsoft Dynamics SL payroll module is flexible enough to allow you to specify exactly which deductions are exempt from this 401k withholding. That specification is made on the individual deductions. For example, to exempt 401k from federal income tax withholding, we'll need to specify that on the federal income tax withholding deduction ID. So I'll begin doing that by selecting my federal income tax deduction, which happens to be Fed 1. I'll do that on the exemptions credits tab, and I'll begin entering a new row. Switch to form view so it's easier to see. For marital status, I'll select all statuses. Type will be exemption. My exemption credit ID is just something I make up, but for simplicity, I'll keep it the same, 401k. Description, 401k. Base type, I'm going to select deduction amount. Base deduction ID will be my 401k deduction ID. Calculation method will be fixed percentage, and my fixed percentage will be 100%. So to go through this again, I am basing this exemption on my 401k deduction. And I'm saying I want to exempt 100% of whatever that 401k deduction amount is. I can enter an annual maximum amount here, which for 2014 is $17,500, or I could leave this blank and control the max at the 401k deduction level, which is probably going to be easier to maintain. Finally, I want to make sure this Reduce Reported Wages Subject to Withholding checkbox is checked. This checkbox controls whether the wages reported on the W-2 form should be reduced by this exemption. That should complete the setup for the Fed 1 withholding. If I wanted to exempt 401k from state withholding or city withholding or school tax withholding, I would follow the same steps to add this row on the exemptions credits tab on those other deductions. The best way to test that things are set up as you expect is to run a simple payroll calculation. So to do that, I'll start out, I'll add my new 401k deduction to my earnings type, which is needed to get any deduction to calculate. And then on an employee, in employee maintenance, I'll select a sample employee. And on the deductions tab, I'll add my new deduction ID so that I can specify their fixed percentage. And I'll withhold 10%. Now I should be ready to run a sample calculation for this employee. So calculation. I'll select my pay group, which are week ending date. And I'll just select this one employee that I set up and begin. Once the calculation is complete, 
I can have a look at things in the Review Edit Check screen. Select my employee. From here, I can see a few things. I can see my gross earnings were $1,000. I can see that from my 401k deduction, it withheld 10%, so it withheld $100. And then from my Fed 1 deduction, in the Cur Subj Dead, which is short for Current Earnings Subject to Deduction, it shows 900 instead of the gross 1,000. So that tells me that the exemption does seem to be working. My federal wages of 1,000 were reduced by the $100 401k deduction, leaving 900 as the base amount for my federal withholding calculation. So it does appear that everything is set up and working correctly. This concludes the overview on how to set up a pre-tax deduction in the payroll module in Microsoft Dynamics SL. Thank you.